these players has a chance to win a gold necklace, a large screen television, a 35 millimeter camera, or a trip to Aruba. And continue in towards cash the prizes, including a brand new Toyota Celica and $50,000 in cash. Total over $100,000 up for grabs tonight on sale of the century. And now, here's your host, the star of sale of the century, Brandon Scrum. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome into another edition of Sale of the Century right here at MVG Productions. Glad to have you with us for this one. We're back, and we're ready to have three players again tackle and see if they can add to their season running winnings. So let's meet today's players. First up, playing in the first position, we have Mr. Rodney Flippin. Rodney, how you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, Brandon. Good, good. Glad to have him. Last time he was on the show, he... He won a nice chunk of total on the for our very first episode. He walked out of here with a nice cash total of one hundred and thirty two thousand seven hundred and thirty three dollars cash in prices. You ready to add to your winning, sir? Yes, sir. All right, best of luck to you. Our second player today, Mr. Brody. Brody, how are we doing? Doing good, sir. How about you? Pretty well. Last time you were on the show here, Brody didn't win the game, but he's racked up a nice little bit of cash here. He had for himself fifteen hundred dollars. You ready to add to your winnings? Yeah. All right. I hope so. And our third player for today, we have Mr. Justin Noy. Justin, welcome back. Thank you. Last time Justin was on the show here, so far he's had a nice little season total of one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars all in cash. So you ready to add to your winnings, sir, as well? Ready. All right, well, best of luck to you. You guys know how this works. I ask the question, you guys buzz in and give me the correct answer. If you do, you get $5 added to your bank. Uh, if you miss it, however, you lose $5. I uh, have a chance to buy some instant bargains and some um, uh, picks of the fan game board as we go along, but we'll get to that as we get to it. So let's play. Let's unlock the controls for everybody and give everybody 20 bucks. All right, there's your buzzing keys on the board. And again, you can buzz in at any time as I, once I start reading the question. And I say good luck to you all. We start this game of Sale of the Century with this question for five. Players, who plays the role of Lieutenant Aldo Rain in the 2009 film Ignorious Bastards? Oh, sorry. That's Brody. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is correct. You got yourself five. Players, which female pop star had a number one hit with Nelly on the track My Dilemma? Is it A. Kelly Rodney? Uh, that Kelly, um, Kelly Rowan. Kelly Rowan is correct. Just under the buzzer there, you get five. Woo! All right, players, what four-letter word beginning with B is also a 1980s British band with brothers Luke and Matt Goss or... Found with found on the title of a video game featuring Mario and Luigi. That's Brody. Bros. Super Mario Bros. is correct. You got it. You're up five. I players. Huey Smith had what middle name? Is it music, drums, guitar, or piano? That's Brody. Uh, drums. No, it's not drums. It's actually piano. You lose five on that one. Back down to 25. It's tied with Ronnie for first place. Gino Simo Rossini wrote the opera called The What of Seville. That's Rodney. The Barbara of Seville. Barbara of Seville is right. You get five. Up to 30. Yes. Now time for an instant bargain. Again, player in the league can buy bargain prize merchandise. Rodney, with a $5 lead over Brody, you have a chance to buy, and you can purchase this. Car a brand new Carson sofa. This comfortable Carson sofa fits in any living room decor. Oversized pillows and cushioned seats make for luxurious comfort in your own home. Normally priced at $2,265, but yours today on sale of the century for just $6. Hmm. But you know what? I'm not going to sell it to you for 6 I'm going to sell it to you for $4. You, if you want to buy it, you still have a $1 lead. Another question. For the sofa, $2,200 deal. Going once. 
Going twice? No sale. No sale. I have a nice sofa at home already. <laughs> I didn't want the sofa. You could have kept the lead. You could have kept the lead. But all right, we're going to go back, back to our questions here for this one for fun. What explosive nickname is was given to the late U.S. boxer Michael Dokes? Is it TNT? Brody? TNT? No, I'm sorry. It was not TNT. It's actually Dynamite. Dynamite, so you, oh, lose, I should you know. lose five there. You go drop back down to 20. The International what? Olympic Committee was founded in what year? Is it A, 1894? B, 1904, or C, 1944. Oh, no, that's, and that's Justin. 1904? No, I'm sorry. It was not 1904. It was actually uh, 1894 on that one. So you lose five on that one. That's okay. We go on to this next... We go on to this next one. Players, what vitamin is most prevalent in the fruit of a lime? Is it vitamin C? Rodney? Vitamin C? Vitamin C is correct. You're right. You go up five. You're up 35. All right, players. It's time for our first fame game. This is not for any money, but this is for a pick of the fame game board. We are looking for a famous actor on this. Famous actor, buzz in as soon as you think you know it. I, this famous actor was born on May 16, 1953. He was brought up by his mother after his parents split when he was only young. He was put into a Catholic logic school where he suffered severe beatings, plus he claims he had religion rammed down his throat. And due to an investigation with the News of the World School, was shut down only a few months later after pending serious investigation. Once he left school, he trained to be a commercial artist, but this wasn't his first love, as in spare time he was acting at Kendrick's Oval House. So only after a few months, he left his full-time job and enrolled at drama school. And in 1976, he made his professional debut on stage in Wait Until Dark. This led him to starring in many stage shows, then finally led him to the beginning of his career on TV. first TV show he starred in was a BBC show called Murphy Stroke. In the mid to late 90s, his movie career really started taking off as he was getting bigger and better roles, starring as characters such as Stuart Dunmire in Mrs. Doubtfire, Sir William Johnson in The Broken Chain, Ken Allen in Love Affair, and that's Brody. Uh, oh gosh, uh... I, uh, That's time. Sorry. I lost it. All right. Go with Rodney. Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan is correct. You got it. Ah, oh, man. Well done. Started uh, Professor Donald Kessler in Mars Attacks and Harry Dalton in Dante's Peak. Of course, we all know Pierce Brosnan better as the former James Bond agent 007 in the film Die Another Day. All right, Rodney, you got to pick up the fame game board now. You got some prizes, you got some surprises. We got money cards up there, a five and a ten dollar money card. Which one would you like? I think I'm gonna go with number two. Number two, little deuce at the top of the board. What do we have behind two? We got a shuffleboard okay. table. Nice little prize. That shuffleboard table is worth seven hundred dollars to you. Nice little pickup for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yours to keep, no matter what happens the rest of the game. We have two more chances at the Fame Game Board a little bit later on. We'll continue back now with this next question for five. Art players, which composer famously became deaf toward the end of his life but still produced music? Is it Bach or Beethoven? That's Brody. That'd be Ludwig von Beethoven. You are right. You get five right back. All right, players, complete the title of Adele's 2012 number one hit, Set fire to the... That's Brody. Set fire to the rain. Rain is correct. You got another five for you. Up to 30. Good job. All right, players. Denzel Washington played which black militant leader in the 1992, 1992 film of the same name? And that's time. Correct answer there is Malcolm X. Malcolm X is what we're looking for there. Okay, players, here's your next one. In the classic Disney film, how many Dalmatian puppies were born? And that's Rodney. It was uh, 99. No, I'm sorry. It was, it was not, 101. It was not, not, 
99. It was, was 101 say Dalmatians. I was going to say that. 101 mm -hmm. Dalmatians there. And, of course, that classic film just recently celebrated an anniversary. And, again, it, uh, making it one of the classic film, Disney films of all time. Personally, I would just hate to be the guy who has to count all the spots on all the dogs. But Brody and Rodney with a $30 tie each for the lead. We'll see who continues as we play more Sale of the Century right after this. Stay with us, won't you? Back on Sale of the Century here. Time for another instant bargain now. Rodney and Brody both with $30. Only one of you has a chance to buy this item, so once you hear the low sale of the century price, and once I say going once, you have a chance to buzz in and you can purchase the item. Why you can have this? A trip to Acapulco. Ooh. You want to guess what fly round trip coach from Los Angeles to beautiful Acapulco, Mexico for a six night stay? Great lounging by the beaches and in surfing lessons included with this. A great trip to Acapulco, normally priced at $3,874, but yours today on sale this century for just $10. Ooh, I'll I tell you what, if you want this instant bargain, we're going to throw in an additional $400, is what my producer says. I would do a lot better. I'm going to make this a real sale this century. Trip to Acapulco, almost worth $4,000. And on top of that, I'm going to throw in $2,000 in spending money for the trip. Wow. Almost $6,000 bargain for the price of $10. It'll put you in second place, but you have a great trip and guaranteed to add something to your season total winnings. $6,000 deal for $10. Going once. Brody's going to buy. All right. And oh my goodness, there's a sale surprise with it, Brody. Oh my gosh! Along with along with that two thousand dollars in cash, we're gonna give you a bonus surprise of one, two, three, four, five, six, oh. seven, oh. eight, oh my god, nine hundred dollars oh. oh. more. All right. Nicely done, sir. Twenty nine hundred dollars in cash along with that trip. Fantastic. Well played. Thank you so much. Okay, toss the ten dollars off your score You're down to twenty, but again, still early in the game. Anybody's game. We're back with our questions for five players. All right, players, what does the WWW stand for in an internet? Brody. Uh, 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 repeat the question. I can't cannot. You gotta give me an answer. Uh, uh, uh oh gosh. Uh, uh, That's time. Sorry. Uh, 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 the WWW stands for World Wide Web. World Wide Web is what oh, we're looking at for. Uh, uh, I would have said it, but, uh, but time kind of beat me to it. Yeah, the early anticipation cost you the five there. Down to 15. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's okay. I can make it back. Get back on pr par with this. Players, on a sailboat, where is the rudder usually located? Is it, that's Brody. Um, would that be at the uh, the back? Back of the boat is correct. You got back. You got that five right back. All right. What is someone's real name most likely if he's known if he's known as Dick? What is someone's real name if he's most likely known as Dick? And that's Justin. Richard. Richard is correct. You got it. You go back up to twenty now. Players, what green vegetable do you associate with the cartoon character Popeye? That's Rodney. Spinach. Spinach is correct. You're up to 35. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, players. A plant that can live for three or more years as opposed to one that lives for only one year only is called what? A perennial, an annual, a biennial, or an every now and then? I don't even know this one. That's time. Correct answer there is a perennial. And they're known as a perennial. Oh, okay. All right, players, how many sides are there on a stop sign? That's Rodney. Eight. Eight is correct. Yep. Hey, you're up to 40 now. I know 
time for the fame game, players. All right, players, time for our second fame game now. Along with the five and ten dollar money cards, we now add a fifteen dollar money card to this. So, Brody or Justin, you get to find those money cards. You'll be right back in the game. This time, you're looking for a famous actress. Famous actress on this one. I was born in Santa Ana, California, in 1958. I stand five foot nine inches tall. My father, Richard, was a heating contractor. My mother, Donna, was a housewife. I have an older brother called Rick and two younger sisters called Lori and Dee Dee. I'm a mix of Swedish, German, Dutch, Irish, and Swiss, and I've often been quoted as calling myself a bit of a mutt. As a child, I was horribly bullied for having big lips and walking like a duck, which earned me the nickname Mud Turtle. Never much of a student, I preferred to hang with surfers and got into all kinds of dr drinking and drugs at an early age. My first car was a red 65 Mustang, which I wrecked before I was 16 while under the influence. Sad, uh, I was eventually persuaded to go back to college where I studied to be a court reporter, but got bored and tried my hand at psychology, but again got bored. One of my favorite subjects in school was drama, and my teacher always commented that I had some talent, but never pursued it. This time I decided to give it a shot and had a hard time finding an agent. Then my hairdresser suggested earning some entering some beauty patches as a means of getting an agent. I had some model shots taken and entered the Miss Orange County Beauty Contest and won. I then entered the Los Angeles Beauty Contest, and despite losing, I acquired an agent and soon moved to Hollywood, where I did some commercials for Ford Motors and Lux Soap. My first proper audition was for a role in Charles Angels, which I never got, and eventually landed my first debut in the TV show Fantasy Island, where I played a pretty dumb blonde with one line. Sadly, the pretty dumb role, blonde roles seemed to be all I got once recalled crying down to the phone my agent, but putting me in hot pants again. I decided to kick the booze and drugs, and eventually the role started to come. I played Samantha Sunshine in an L.A.-based Dukes of Hazard ripoff, and appeared in an episode of a popular TV show, Chips. I, mar I married in 1981 at age just 22, and this was the stage that my life got my first movie breaks. I starred in some of the characters I have played are Elvira Hancock in Scarface, Susie Diamond in Baker Boys, and Laura Aylin in Wolf. I've also appeared in an episode of The Simpsons as my character, Mindy Simmons. I have won a BAFTA, a Golden Globe, and have been nominated for three Oscars, sadly missing out every time. I've starred opposite both Jack Nicholson and Al Pacino twice, and also appeared alongside Mel Gibson, where I did my ever first news scene, alongside Sean Penn, where the role of lawyer and Rita Hattie Williams, alongside my most famous movie roles, is playing the character of Stephanie Zion. Finally, I am due to appear in the soon-to-be-released movie Hairspray, where I play the character of Velma Von Tussel, and perhaps my most famous movie role is playing the character of Catwoman in the 1992 movie Batman Returns. I am, of course, uh, Ronnie. Nice. I'm going to take a gift. Is it Halle Berry? No, I'm sorry. It's not Halle Berry. Brody or Justin, you have a guess? Uh... Nah, I got nothing. Her, all right. Her first name, uh, one last clue. Her first name is Michelle. Last name, Brody. Michelle Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer is correct. You got it. Oh, my went through the That's went nice. through the whole. It took the entire description there to get that one. But bro, I know it was a tough question that I had to. I can remember Catwoman from uh, from the nineteen ninety two movie Batman Returns. Oh, good one there for you. You did get the pick, so now you got your choice of the board. Where? Okay. Which number would you like? Get number seven, please. All right, behind number seven, we have a prize. It's some sportswear for you. Sportswear valued at seven hundred and ten dollars. Cool. All right, so there you go, Brody, picking up another nice prize there. And prizes so far, Brody, you've won over $3,500 already on today's show, so that's going to definitely help your totals out. But we're back, with our, oh, back yes. with our normal questions now for five. Players, which of these countries' flags is not red, white, and blue? Is it Brazil, the USA, Justin? Brazil. Brazil is correct, you're right. Yep, it's green, blue, and yellow. All right. 
All right, players, what type of fruit is a cantaloupe? Is it an apple? A... Rodney. It's a melon. One is correct. You go up to 45. Players, in basketball, what is the name for the area outside the three-point arc? Is it Midtown? Uptown? Rodney. It's downtown. From downtown. Nails it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, fun, popular. Yes, that that vo yeah. famous yeah. that line famously came from a one of my favorite basketball games of all time, NBA Jam, which the tournament edition yeah. is available now, <laughs> available now for download on both PlayStation and Xbox. And Ronnie, with a twenty-five dollar lead, will he make it back to the winner's big money board? We'll find out as we play more Sale of the Century right after this. Back on sale of the century now. It's time for the instant cash. Rodney, you have the you have a twenty-five dollar lead over Justin, and you're gonna get a chance to play for some instant cash. Take a look. We got the vault back there. One of the boxes is ten thousand dollars in it. The other two boxes will have five hundred dollars in cash in your chance. For your cost of your lead, which is $25 right now, you can win $10,000. We've seen Nails do it twice on this show. Take the vault, take the cash price home for him, and here's your chance to do it. And I'll tell you what, just to make it, just to make it a little bit more interesting for you, whatever, yeah. if you find one, if you go decide to go for the money, I won't make it $500 in one of the other boxes. I'll make it a guaranteed thousand dollars right now. Guaranteed thousand bucks to add to your winnings for the cost of your lead right now. Going once, going twice, no sale. Let's see what that money was. Though. He doesn't want to go for it. I was I was hoping that might entice him enough to make him want to play for it. Let's <laughs> see. Um, Ron, if you were gonna pick a box, which one which one would you have picked? Bagel with two, three. three. Let's see. Where was the money? Number two. Those two. It got a, you would have got a thousand dollars for it. So, sorry. So since no one yeah. won the instant cash, we're gonna add a thousand dollars to the jackpot. So it'll be worth eleven thousand dollars next time we play. And we're back to the questions as we continue on here with Roddy with fifty, Justin with twenty-five, Brody with twenty, and this question for five. Players, what is the day after Christmas known as in England? Is it? And that's Brody. New Year's Day? No, I'm sorry. It's actually Boxing Day. Boxing Day is what it's known as. Ah. Oh. Now to 15. Players, Rosebud is the famous word uttered in what 1941 movie? Is it Animal Farm, Citizen Kane, Gone with the Wind, or Cleopatra? That's Brody. Gone with the Wind? Oh, that's actually Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane, caution of the five, down to ten. Players, which of the following is a famous cocktail? Is it Tom Collins, Joan Collins, Michael Collins? That's Brody. Tom Collins. Tom Collins is right. Now you're going back the right way. You're up to 15. Time for our third and final fame game, players. We now add a $25 money card to the board. And... This could tie up the lead for you for Justin if you can find it. Brody can put you right back in the game if you can find it as well. Looking for, looking for mm. a famous singer. Famous singer. Okay. I was born in England on the 9th of October, 1940. As a child, I attended the Dovedale Primary School and Quarry Bank Grammar School. I started my first group in 1957 after meeting a couple new recruits. We became Johnny and the Moon Dogs in 1958. The manager of a local record store took an interest in our foursome and convinced us to sharpen our bad boy image. He pursued his ministry he pursued his music industry contacts until eventually we achieved a contract with Parl Parlophone. In nineteen sixty two, we replaced our drummer Pete with a new drummer on our manager's recommendation. In the same year, I married Cynthia Powell, whom I met attending Liverpool College of Art. Our final concert was held in August of 1966 in San Francisco. I have two sons named Sean and Julian. On December 8, 1980, 
I was shot and killed by Mark David Chapman, a deranged... And that's Rodney. Is it John Lennon? John Lennon is correct. Shot by a deranged fan outside his apartment building in New York City. Well, Rodney, eight cards left... Uh, sorry, seven numbers left on the board there. Four of them have money cards behind them. You can take a big lead here if you can find one. Which one number would you like? I'm going to go with number six. Number six. Let's take a look. Behind number six, we have... Ah, oh, the burglar space. We have yet to see this one this season. Find the burglar. That means you could take $5 from either one of your opponents... Who do you want to take five bucks from? Brody or Justin? I, I kind of feel bad about this because they're behind me anyway. Um, I got to do it to Justin. Justin, you just got swiped from. I takes you down to 20. Rodney goes up to 55. And it is now time for the speed round. May I have 60 seconds of the clock, please? Look at the scores again. Roddy with 55, Brody with 15, Justin with 20. Again, we're going rapid fire questions here. Again, remember, fastest finger first. Only one person gets to answer each question. I'm going to get through as many times as you can. First person who has the most at the end of the 60 seconds wins the game, goes on to play the, the sale of the century round, the winner's big money board, all right? And remember, the clock, clock will all not right. start until I finish reading the first question, so good luck to you. As we start the sale of the century, uh, the speed round with this. Complete the quotation from a movie, Forrest Gump. Life is like a Rodney. Box of right. chocolate. Which part of an Adam's body did God use to make Eve? Is it ear, rib, big toe, or lock of hair? Rodney. It's right. The rib. Along with Snap Crackle, who else associated with Kellogg's Rice Krispies? Rodney. Right. Pop. Which hotel was it? Hit for Elvis Presley in 1956. Brody. Uh, time. What were Rubens, Rembrandt, and Renoir? Were they plumbers, roofers, painters, or carpenters? Trying to buzz. Rodney. Wait, who was me? Rodney. Uh, right. Painters. Which of these would normally remove your tartar? Locksmith, priest, coat checker, or dentist? Brody. Dentist. Right. Which celebrity pop star did Michael Jackson marry in 1994? That's time. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Ronnie, you are the champion. Yeah. So I stayed at 20 from the start of the game. All right. A tough one, a tough game right there for all the players there. Um, again, some a good action going on there. But Ronnie's today's winner here. Uh, we're going to total up everything we've won for everybody. Uh, Brody, you did pretty well for yourself here considering you didn't win the game though. But you picked up some great prizes along the way. That trip to Acapulco plus some spending cash along the way. Your, your cash... Your cash and prizes total is $6,984 plus the additional $2,900 you won during the game. Give you a nice, healthy total of $8,184, <coughs> sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. All right. And, um, Justin, like I said, you did as well as you could. You got $1,750 in prizes during the game as well. Multiply the cash in front of you for by 50 you walk off here today with the episode $2,750 richer. Congratulations, sir. All right. And Ronnie, once again, with a big win, didn't buy anything. He's got himself $75. We're going to see how that plays as he gets to the winner's big money board as the sale of the century round is next, right here on Sale of the Century. So stick to it. We'll be right back. Back here with today's big winner, Rodney, who, who's now season total now is up to one hundred thirty-three thousand four hundred and thirty-three dollars, and he's now earned his right to play our winner's big money board. So if you're ready, Rodney, come on over. Let's play the game.
All right, Rodney, let's see what's available here today on today's sale of the century. All right, Rodney, for $80, you can win a queen size bed and sleep set worth over $5,000. For $190, you win an entertainment unit with TV worth over $7,000. For $200, you win a global electric motor car worth almost $9,000. $310. You can win a swim spa worth $15,000. $420. You win a Lincoln Aviator worth over $40,000. For $530. You win a Tahiti Cruise worth $47,000. For $640. You win the cash jackpot of $50,000. And for $750. You win all the prizes on the board plus the cash jackpot for a total of one hundred and seventy-five thousand seven hundred and two dollars. Awesome! That is a huge, and I'm talking really, really, really big winner's big money board up there. Those are some great prizes up there. You're gonna win one of them, I'm hoping. So let's get you started here. You earn t you get one dollar for every ten bucks you earn the upfront game. You finish with seventy five, so that gives you a seven dollar head start. And now you get five numbers off the winner's board. Which number would you like? Okay, I'm gonna try a different strategy this time. Um, let's do twenty four. Twenty four. What do we have behind twenty four? Forty dollars. Okay. Good start. Okay. Let's look for the bigger one. I'm going to go with 25 this Next time. Store number 25. Looking for one of those 250s up on the board. Behind 25. $10. Yeah, All right. $10. Okay. $57 now in your bank. Three more picks. Okay, let's go with number 21. 21. Staying across that bottom, going to the far corner. Behind 21. $100. There you go. That's a good one. Up to $157 right. now. Okay. Let's go with number seven. Number seven. We we're looking for a two fifty. What are behind number seven? Five dollars. All right, this is your final pick, wow. Rodney. You need a big number here. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot. Okay, let's go with number three. Number three, top of the board. What do we have behind number three? $200. That's enough for that great go. swim spa. But I'm going to give you a chance to uh, give you a chance to play on here. You can choose to take the swim spa right now along with some bonus cash. Or you can pick one of these two envelopes we got at the top of the board. One of them has a second chance in it. One of them says lose half. If you can find the one with the second chance in it, you get two more picks of the board. However, if you mit, however the other, if you pick the other one that says to lose half, you lose half the money in your bank. You'd be down to a hundred and fifty-six dollars, I believe. I'm doing my math right. One hundred eighty-one. A little more than that, yeah. Yeah, one eighty. Yeah, one eighty-one. So anyway, the choice is yours. Take the swim spa. And the cash you've earned already, or risk it to go for a second chance. What do you want to do? I got to go for it, Brandon. All right. Pick an envelope, sir. A or B? A. Let's see what we have in envelope A. It is... Oh, no. Something is happening. Sorry. That's Down okay. to $181, but that's still a nice price. You're going to get the queen-size bed and sleep set. Again, that's a little over $5,000 prize. Plus, we're going to give you $100 for every dollar you have left in the bank. That's another $10,100 in cash. I'll so, a that. nice prize package total of over $15,000 in the bonus round, which now makes your season total here on sale this century, Rodney, $149,287. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, we couldn't give away the big... We couldn't give away the lot here on this episode, but again, we gave away some nice prizes. Almost, almost, uh, probably, I'd say, close to $25,000 of prizes we gave away on this one today. And again, thank you. Thanks to all of our players for playing, and thank you guys all for watching another great episode here of Sale of the Century. Remember, if you like the series, click that like button down below, and don't forget to share with your friends. 
And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to see more episodes of Sale of the Century or any of the great game shows I do here on my channel, click that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you never miss an episode I drop here at MVG Productions. And until the Argon Price merchandise comes your way once again and the Sale of the Century continues, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thanks for watching. We will see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on sale of the century are manufacturer suggested retail price accurate as of time or taken. This is Michael Gentry speaking. Sales of the Century is an MDG production.